Hey guys, Steve Welty here. I made a list of the top 10 books that made the biggest impact in my life and the book coming in at number one is no doubt Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth. I learned so many amazing lessons from this book but I wanted to break down the top five lessons I learned that hopefully will have a huge impact in your life like they did mine. Number one, you are not the voice in your head. You are the one that notices the voice in your head. You are the observer, or Eckhart calls it, you are consciousness. Take time throughout the day to notice the voice in your head and notice the space between you and the voice in your head, that you are the consciousness observing the voice. As you're doing this, don't make the voice in your head the problem. Like, oh, I, I'm still doing these crazy, realize that it's separate and apart from you because when you make the voice in your head the problem, that's just more ego. Another beautiful thing that come from, comes from it is you'll notice that when you no longer make your mental positions or your thoughts into your identity, then you're able to cut people slack that you might disagree with and you're also able to cut yourself more slack because you realize that it's just the chattering voice in your head and not the true essence of who you are, which is consciousness or spirit or whatever you, you wanna call it. Number two. The primary factor in your life should always be your state of consciousness in this moment, not what you are doing or achieving. See, most people are in the shower and they're thinking about driving to work or they're making coffee and they're thinking about an argument. Um, I do it too. You know, we're always overvaluing some future moment or some past moment and completely disregarding the present. That's what the ego loves to do because that's how the ego stays alive. By making the present moment the primary focus of your life you create unbounded potential connect yourself to the transcendent dimension and align yourself with life itself God all the abundance of the universe because if you look at the simplicity of creation a tree a, a bush you know the moon the stars they're all operating in perfect order in this present moment it's only us who are living some alternate reality that may or may not even exist. All stress comes from resisting the present moment. The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation itself, but it's our interpretation of the situation. Number three, this could be my favorite. Nothing you ever achieve will ever satisfy you, not in the long run anyway. So do things because you enjoy them, not because you want more. It took me a long time to learn that, and I'm still learning it. Number four, I'm no longer afraid of death because I am life. I've realized that I am life. I am life, I am spirit, I am some incredible intelligence that we can't even comprehend. So I can't lose something that I am, you know what I mean? When, when this body dies, I'll go to heaven or I'll return as a plant or I'll just go into the ether. But I, I, I no longer fear death, um, for the most part. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell myself this, but I've, I've come a long way on this. I think uh, Mark Twain said it best. He said something to the effect of, I don't fear death. I was dead for millions of years before I was born and it wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> and finally, number five, Eckhart Tolle in his book points out this beautiful truth that in his opinion, the Christian cross has a deep symbolism. It represents the horizontal dimension of life and the vertical. So the horizontal being the doing, the creation, the being, you know, human. There's a world we have to live in, right? But there's this transcendent dimension that has unfathomable depth. And many people completely disregard this transcendent dimension. Ways to access this transcendent dimension are through the present moment, through prayer, through meditation. All creativity is born from this place and all joy and all effective action is born from this place. So this book helped me see that the more times I can be mindful of this and, and feel this and be in this moment, my efforts are just going to be doubly more effective and uh, things are just going to be working a lot easier. So that's it. My top five lessons learned from my number one book of all time, Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth. If you enjoyed this, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I appreciate you watching. Peace. We were living wild. That's how they made us child. Running from something. I'm not sure where